All right, everyone, and welcome to another UME Academy lesson. Now, today we are talking about how to render your transparency in your alpha channel with Inside Redshift. Now, if you've ever tried to render transparency uh, in Redshift, you might have noticed that it doesn't quite work <laughs> the way you would expect, and that's probably why you're here. Um, so what are we talking about? So normally, if you render a piece of glass or a piece of water, you would expect that the alpha would reflect that, right? Meaning that parts that are more transparent would be more dark and parts that are more opaque would be more white. Now, by default, this does not happen with Inside Redshift. So let's look at what we are talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the alpha of this and you'll see right away, we're not getting the tonal variation that you would expect to see from glass or water or fill in the blank, anything that has transparency. Um, let's go ahead, I'm gonna turn on a background object here too, just so you can, to just to further demonstrate uh, what is happening here. So, you know, you would imagine with a cube here in the background that this would be purely white and this would be somewhat gray or dark colors happening here. But when we go to our alpha, once again, we just get pure solid and it's, it's just not what I would expect. So how do we fix this? All right, well, it's quite a simple fix. All you need to do is go to your render settings and then click on Redshift, go to System Legacy under System Legacy, click Refractions Effect Alpha Channel. Now watch over here as soon as I do this. Now as soon as I do that, we're getting expected results. We're getting tonal variations that say, hey, wherever it's white, uh, it's more opaque, and wherever it's dark, it's more transparent, which is what you want by default. So that is it for the lesson, quite possibly the quickest lesson we've ever done. Uh, and I hope it has been helpful, and I will see you on the next one.